breaking news. A new episode of Let's Be Frank starting now. Hello all. Fruit. I adore fruit much more than I adore vegetables. That's why in the last like food tier list I did, I asked Jokum to help me rank all those vegetables because really they're just not my thing. Fruit though, that is my area of expertise. I love fruit. A nice parfait or using fruit to make a delicious and savory chutney. There is so much you can do with fruit. And that's why it is just me here today to do the fruit tier list. I am beyond excited for this because, uh, like I said, fruit's my favorite. Why don't we stop dilly-dallying, jump right into it, and start with the tier list. What better fruit to start off with than the apple, the most iconic of all the fruits. The apple, there's so many different kind of apples, right? There are tons of different apples. Granny Smith's are my personal favorite. I love sour things. But if we're thinking apple, we're thinking of a normal red apple, right? Maybe Granny Smith should have been their own thing. Maybe they should do an apple tier list. Ugh, apple's an A tier. There are some pretty bad, boring, and underwhelming apples, but there are so many amazing ones. I have an apple every day with work, every day at work. The point is, apples are a staple fruit, and they just have to be A tier. They're not perfect, but they're amazing. After that, we see apricot. All right, apricots are incredible, right? But it's so easy to get a bad apricot. When it's good, it's great. I love a good apricot. But the chances for them to be bad are just a little high, in my opinion. So let's go ahead and move apricot to B. Good fruit, solid fruit, not always perfect. That's just what I'm saying. Here's what's funny. The next one on this tier list here is avocado. And I ranked avocados on the vegetable tier list. I didn't put together that tier list. I just used it. Jokum claimed avocados were a fruit and lo and behold, here they are. Avocados aren't vegetables, why do you? I mean, they're on the list. I didn't make this okay. tier list. What are There's they? a lot here that isn't a vegetable. Oh, no. Okay. No, that's okay. I'm sure they're more of a fruit than a vegetable. I'm not here to argue that. I'm just saying it's funny that they're ranked on both. They're definitely B tier. I'm going to go ahead and put them above apricot, actually, because, listen, I like avocado toast. What can I say? It's, it's good. It's packed with protein. You can put onions on top. It's fantastic. Just eating apricot like straight with a sp I mean not apricot avocado my bad straight with a spoon not the best which is why it's in B but you combine it with other things and it becomes incredible avocado is gonna be B bananas I am a big fan of bananas you guys I think bananas you can do so much with them you can make banana splits you know sundaes you can put them in smoothies they're great in parfaits Bananas, they're good on their own. They're an all-around type of fruit. And for that reason, bananas are A-tier. Easily. Don't disagree with me on that. Potassium? You need more potassium if you're disagreeing with me. Blackberries. Kind of sour. There, there's a slight difference from blueberry. I mean, blueberries and raspberries. As far as berries go, they're not my favorite. But they're good. I think that's another B-tier fruit. I would rather have a raspberry, I think. But if you get a nice sour blackberry, and I like my fruit sour, you're gonna learn this, especially with the next fruit. It's almost unmatched. But a night, the perfect blackberry is a rare blackberry. So B tier. Blueberries. My friends make fun of me for this. All the time. Blueberries are best when they're a reddish color and sour. Kill me if you want for saying that, but I'm right. A, a, a reddish, mm, sourish blueberry, it doesn't get any better. I, I, I think, gosh, I can, I can just eat them by the handful. If you go pick fresh blueberries from like a blueberry field, I can oh, just eat them by the handful, man. I, I prefer sour blueberries to like a normal, just a normal, totally blue blueberry any day. Could this be the first S tier? This is hard. This is really hard. A tier. 
for now, A tier. And I'm going to put them above Apple. Because I can eat an Apple and be satisfied. But I can eat a whole tub of blueberries and still want more. I've said a lot of good things about fruit so far, right? About all the fruits we talked about. We're about to, we're hitting the bad fruit now, and that's cantaloupe. I want cantaloupe to be good. It's orange. I love orange things. That's my favorite color. But gosh, man, that cantaloupe just isn't good. It's, it's almost tasteless. You eat, like, whenever you're at, like, a breakfast place, right, and you get a side of fruit with your breakfast, it's always cantaloupe and honeydew. It's such boring fruits. Cantaloupe is a D-tier fruit. It's not even okay. It's, it's bad. It's boring. I don't like cantaloupe. On the other hand, the next fruit is yuzu. If I were to talk about any out there fruit, it's going to be yuzu. It's an Asian fruit that has, how do I even describe the taste? It's unique, it's so unique it's hard to describe. If you haven't had a yuzu, uh, th there's jam spreads, look it up. Yuzu is a good fruit. I'm gonna go ahead and put it at the top of B because I, I like it, but it, it's a rare situational type of fruit, if that makes sense. It might not. Try yuzu if you haven't. Let this be an ad for yuzu, for all fruits really. Cherries, though. Cherries are an interesting fruit because they're not great. But everybody seems to like them. I feel like I'm one of the only people who thinks cherries are mid. If I were to go to the store, you told me I could buy 10 different fruits, big packages of fruits, and bring them home. Cherries probably wouldn't even pop into my head, at least not until I hit like my like ninth or 10th choice. Cherries are a C-tier fruit, and it's not because they're bad. But it's because in a sea of amazing fruits, they're just nobody's first choice. They're, what can I say? They're mid. Okay, next up we have clementines. I love clementines more than I love oranges. God, they're so good. They're the perfect mixture of like a sweet and a sour. I can buy a bag of these one day and finish them in the same day if I if I allowed myself. Clementines, they're an S-tier fruit. I, this is our first S-tier, y'all. All fruits are good in their own right, except for you know maybe a handful. Only the best of the best can be S-tier, and I think Clementines make it there easily. And don't worry, we're, we're talking about oranges later. We're not just doing Clementines. Moving on, Cranberries. Hey, these are those handful of bad ones I was talking about. Cranberries can be good. Cranberry juice can be good. Want a Sprite Cranberry? Uh -huh. Cranberries by themselves. I just can't do it. That's a C tier fruit. I'm putting those below cherries. I just, what is a cranberry besides something to combine with something else? Who do you know that eats cranberries by themselves? They're probably an old person. <laughs> And that's not a bad thing. Enjoy your cranberries. But I just won't. Very mid. I had to add some fruits into this tier list. Because the person who made this tier list was missing a few fruits. Some of the more popular ones. They neglected to include loquats. Loquats! The best fruit ever. You guys know my love of loquats well. If this is your first video of mine, first of all, Welcome, thank you for watching. Subscribe if you uh, enjoyed this video. If you didn't know, I have done like three videos on loquats at this point. I just love loquats, they're the best fruit ever. They're sour, they can be sweet. I, I have talked about eating fruits by the handfuls before with no other fruit. Is that truer than with the loquat? Loquats are an S-tier fruit, and I can promise you, nothing is going to beat them. Nothing. Moving on, we have figs. I don't know, man. I don't know. Figs, uh, they're fine, I guess. Um, I barely even remember what they taste like. It's been a long time since I've had a fig. But does anybody ever talk about them? What do you know about figs? 
you know somebody who, you know, that's their favorite fruit? No, probably not. I'm putting figs in D below cantaloupe. What even is a fig? Does anybody enjoy them? I don't know. <laughs> um, they can't be that good. They don't, they don't belong in fruit salads or parfaits or smoothies. They, 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 there's no candies flavored after them. Figs are boring, and we're moving on. Grapefruit. Two D-tiers back-to-back. What a surprise. Okay, grapefruit. I know there are people out there who like grapefruits, but it's top of D, I swear. They're just... I want them to be good. You can put a little sugar over them or something, you know, slice it up, eat it. I want them to be good so bad. Every time I have a grapefruit, it is bitter and it is just unpleasant. They're just bad. Grapes, on the other hand. Grapes are up next. I love grapes. There was a time in my childhood where I could have called grapes my favorite fruit. They're so easy. You just pick them off the vine, you rinse them under the water, and you have a delicious snack. You can even put some sugar over them if you want. You don't have to. They're fine on their own. But if you want to just add a little, a little something, they're amazing. And red grapes, green grapes, incredible. There's like a blacker grape thing, like a really, really good, like dark purple grape. I'm not a fan of those. I can't do those. Seed grapes. Oh, seed grapes are bad. Don't oof. Despite all that, though, despite the fact that seeded grapes exist, it's an S tier fruit. End of S. I- I'd say they're teetering the line of S and A. But again, that's a sour fruit. At least it can be. They're not all sour. But the more sour a grape, the better. People use like, oh, he's a sour grape, to mean something like a negative connotation. No, a sour grape is the best grape. It's peak grape, like peak blueberry is sour too. Don't argue me on this. Guava, I'm gonna be honest, can't really remember what guava tastes like. But if I had to guess, probably B. We'll put it to end of B. Guava's one of those fruits where you want to love it. You want it to be great. And it's not, it's a fine fruit. I, I just can't really recall the taste right now. I'd say I'd rather, if I'm going to the store and I had to pick from any B-tier fruit, I'd pick a blackberry, an apricot, any, any B-tier over a guava because I know it's safer. I know what I'm going to get. Honeydew, D-tier, end of D. Honeydew has got to be probably be the worst fruit, right? Probably got to be the worst fruit. And still, I don't want to put it in F because it's a fruit. I don't think there are many fruits that just, blech, ugh, I refuse to keep chewing and swallow it, you know? It's a fruit I don't want to put in my mouth, but I can. I can eat it. Honeydew's bad, though. It's not, it's not good. It's below average. Kiwi. Overrated. I'll say that. Kiwi is overrated. It's not bad. It's good. I, I, I would even say it's above average. It doesn't belong in C. But it's just better than a guava, I would say. I, I would rather have a blackberry, an apricot, yada, yada, yada. Kiwis aren't bad. They're just a little underwhelming. The bird is great. I love the bird. But they, they just don't seem to have a taste that pops enough. And I don't know. This is going to make me sound so lazy, but I don't Peel it. Don't make me peel it or anything. I just want to pick up a berry, pop it into my mouth. Is that so much to ask? Lemon! Lemon! Oh, I love lemons. The only time a lemon is bad is when you somebody squeezes it in their water. Why? Why do people squeeze lemon and lime and stuff in their water? It just, it just adds, it just... It, God, it's like you didn't make lemonade properly. That's all it is. It makes me so mad. My mother squeezes lemons into her water. I don't get it. She makes like slightly flavored water. Gosh, that sounds like I'm dunking on lemons. That was a, I got taken over for a second. That wasn't me. I love lemons. I do eat lemon straight though. I'm not gonna lie. I, at the restaurant, they'll bring you the the lemon with your water because you don't have to squeeze it in. Gross. I peel that bad boy. Pop it right in my mouth. Dang it, that's an S tier. That is an S tier. I'm putting it at the end of S because 
I wouldn't go to the store, buy a bag of lemons, slice them up, and just eat them. You know? Limes! <laughs> the lemon's green cousin! I l you squeeze a lemon into something you're baking, for something like sweet, you know? You squeeze a lime into something savory. I love putting that in like my teriyaki beef pasta or, or into pho or something. Limes are A tier. I, I would not, I've tried eating a lime straight. Not as good as a lemon. For that reason, it's gonna go like bottom of A, which sounds weird, because I just put lemons on top of S. But I'm not eating a lime straight. I'm eating a lemon straight. I'm not eating a lime straight. So we're going to keep them pretty separated for now. Okay, we have another funny one here, guys. Tomatoes. Tomatoes are a fruit. This is common knowledge by now, right? I feel like finding out tomatoes were a fruit as a kid blew everybody's mind. And we constantly have to be like, hey, didn't you know tomatoes are fruit? We all know this now, right? But it still feels weird ranking them among fruits. I don't... I don't get it. Did the vegetable tier list have tomatoes on it? Did we have a conversation about that? Uh, is it tomato? It's a fruit. Tomatoes are fruit. It's a, it's a fruit. Oh, okay, so if we're, we have to eliminate like half this list if we're getting rid of fruits. Tomato is here, so I'm gonna rank it. S. I, S. S. I say S. high S. So, I mean, look, you bite into a raw tomato, terrible time. But you got ketchup, you got pasta sauce. You've got so much you can do with cooking tomatoes. Uh, feta pasta. Go watch that video after this one. That's a good video. You hand me a raw tomato and I want to throw it. I want to get it away from me. Raw tomatoes are, are the work of the devil, but a cooked tomato, a, a mashed cooked tomato made into sauce is the work of God. So this is hard. I feel like in the vegetable tier list, I did end up ranking tomato for some dumb reason. I didn't just not rank it because it's the fruit. And I think I put it in an S. You know what? You can do the Lord's work with the tomato. Tomato. But then again, all of these other fruits I have ranked just eating. Just eating the fruit the way it is. I've listed things you can do with it, like putting bananas in parfaits and smoothies, but... Okay. When it came to the vegetable tier list, I'm pretty sure I put tomatoes up top because of all you could make with them. For the fruit tier list, tomatoes will symbolize eating it raw. This may not be the right decision, but it's the one I'm going with. Tomatoes are F tier. Eating a raw tomato the same way you would eat any other fruit. You're not going to cook an apple before eating it. You're not going to cook blueberries or cranberries or clementines before eating them. You can eat all of those straight off the plant. You eat a tomato straight off a plant, I'm going to vomit. <laughs> Tomatoes uncooked are F tier. I said what I said. <laughs> Mango. I'm going to go ahead and put mango above apricot in B tier. Because may I don't go out of my way to eat mangoes, right? But it's always pleasant. It's always pleasant to have like in a smoothie or something. Olives on, on this list. I would have sworn olives were not fruits. But who am I? Who am I to say what they are and aren't? I kind of like olives. It's taken a long time. I've been trying this for years. I kind of like olives now. I think I, 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 I'm not giving myself enough credit. I, I will buy olives with like blue cheese or feta cheese or something inside of them and I'll just eat them. Do I kind of go like, mm -hmm. yes, but I like them. I'm gonna put them above mango. I said it, I said it. Olives are really good. I, that's it. I'm coming around. I, I, I've done mental battles in my head, stuff you can't even see, and I'm coming around. Oranges. A classic, but I'd take a clementine over an orange any day. An orange has the potential to be so bad, to be bitter. The seeds are so annoying. I'm going to say it. Hot take. Oranges are... Mm, okay, maybe not bottom of B. Maybe they're still better than kiwis. Because a good orange is better than a good kiwi. It's definitely worth eating. Peach, as a kid, didn't really like peaches. Now, a good peach is like the, some of the best of the best. 
Uh, ooh, it's hard though. Let's put Peach above Avocado. And you know what I'm gonna do actually? I think I put Yuzu too high. I, I think I put Yuzu too high. I'm gonna put Yuzu below Olives, actually. Yeah, I'm dropping Yuzu below Olives. Hmm, I'm moving Apricot up to just, un to just under Olives. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking about eating apricots, and I'm like, ooh, I wish it was apricot season. I'd love to get some apricots right now. Star fruits, another fruit I had to add here myself. Star fruits, I want them to be better than they are. You know, they could be something great. Maybe I've just only had bad star fruits, but I'm not going to stop eating them. But for now, they're just kind of a low B. Pears. Oddly enough, I think pear is one of the fruits I've had on this list the least. It just never appealed to me, I guess. There's no reason to eat a pear. Why bother you when you can eat like an apple or a banana? If you want something in your hand you're going to keep taking bites out of, eat one of those. Eat loquats or an orange. Why eat a pear? Pineapple. That's an S tier. That goes just below loquats. Honestly, if I had never dis discovered loquats, pineapple would be my favorite fruit. This is going to make me sound so stupid. I love how it burns you, right? How the pineapple eats you back because it's so acidic. Pineapple is so good. And it's S tier. Pomegranate. That's a, that's a C. No, that's a D. That's top of D. I don't want to eat a pomegranate. Too much work. Too much work. For not a lot of reward. Pomegranate's fine. It, it, if it wasn't like all those weird little seedlings falling out, I'd probably put it at like bottom of B or something because it's kind of a boring fruit, but it's not terrible. But it's just so much work for so little reward. Raspberries. Ooh. That's an A tier fruit. But we're in A. That's so hard. I'd probably eat bananas more. But I'm putting it above bananas and under apple. Just because a banana, it's an all-arounder. It's something that's great for potassium. It's something that is good to keep going back to, right? It's easy. Raspberries have a slightly better flavor. Not even slightly. They just have a much better flavor, but you can't do much with them. Maybe parfait? Strawberries. Strawberries are also S-tier. I'm putting those above clementines and just under pineapples. They're the fruit, right? You can argue that's apples or oranges, maybe even bananas or blueberries. No, you're wrong. The fruit is strawberries. They are perfect. Parfaits, smoothies, everything I've been saying all this time. Guys, we've arrived at our final fruit. I didn't even realize it till I looked down, but we are at our final fruit, and it is a banger. That's watermelon. Watermelon for me, is an A-tier fruit. And this might be hubris, but I'm putting it above apple. Because watermelon also, like apple, has the potential to be bad, right? But when it hits, it's like winning the lottery. Man, not as rare as winning the lottery either, but it is just the best summer fruit. You can sit on a beach or in your backyard or just sit inside just eating chunks of watermelon and it's sweet it's savory get a seedless watermelon i said savory i don't know why but it makes sense get a seedless watermelon and you have one of the best fruits out there the only reason it's not an s is because it's sometimes it's a toss-up whether or not you're going to get a good one or not but when you hit <laughs> you hit all right, that's it. We did it. We ranked all the mo you know, the most well-known fruit. You know, we didn't rank every fruit known to man. I mean, Jokum just introduced me to Suriname cherries the other week, and I have a lot of opinions about those, but nobody knows what a Suriname cherry is. I don't know. I, I think we ranked the best fruits, you know, the right ones. If you want to see more out of me, more tier list, more anything, why don't you subscribe if you have not already? Uh, the majority of you who watch these videos are not subscribed. And I don't mean like a 60-40 split. I mean like a 20-80 split. Like it, it's really split. 
So if you aren't subscribed already, why don't you consider doing that? And like this video if you truly did like it. Uh, follow my Instagram and Facebook, Electric Frank 2020. And go and follow Joker and I's podcast called Certified Poke Moments. Yes, we have a Pokemon podcast. And honestly, I think it's great. Every week, we randomly roll a new Pokemon, and we talk about its entire evolution line, if it has one. Sometimes they don't, sometimes they do, but it is always a blast. And if you like Pokemon, you're gonna love it. And with all that being said, thank you guys so very much for watching. I was gonna, like, pop out there really quick, but let me know down in the comments. What's your favorite fruit? If you're still around at this part in the video, what is your favorite fruit? Please let me know. Now I'll say, until next time.